All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 20. All right. So the first input element with a type of submit is automatically set to submit its nearest parent form element. Okay. To handle the form submission after the last field set element, we're going to add an input element with the type attribute set to submit and the value attribute set to submit with a capital S. Okay. So for this one, let's go look up types again, right? So let's look up uh, type HTML, type input HTML, whatever. So here it is right here. Uh, so we're gonna be checking out submit first. So let's do a control F, submit, all right? There it is one, let's do one more, and here it is right here, all right? And so let's just read about it. So the submit type uh, defines a button for submitting form data to a form handler, okay? The form handler is typically a server page with a script or processing for processing input data. The form handler is specified in the form's action attribute. This is more about the form handler than the submit, huh? Anyway, whatever. So basically what we're gonna do is exactly this right here. I mean, we could copy and paste it if we wanted to, and maybe you want to, but I'm gonna type it out just because, you know, it's a good practice, but it's exactly like this, as you can see the capital letter in this lowercase here. So we're gonna come here after this field set, and we're gonna say uh, input, and then inside of the uh, angle bracket, we're going to say uh, type equals, and then we'll have the uh, quotes and we'll say lowercase submit. And then we'll say after that, what, we, what was it? Value equals submit as well. So value equals quotes, capital submit like that. And you can see right here, we've got a submit button. And if we click it, it uh, tells us it's not going to do anything. But if it could, it would. All right. So that looks good. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 21 and we'll see you next time.